Oh my god. We've all been there. The hangover. The Romans called it vomitus bacchanalia. It's also known as a spike in the head, post-party trauma, crapulin, swelling melon, brown bottle flu, the wrath of grapes, Irish flu, the hurt locker. You know, sometimes when we overindulge while boozing, we pay the price with a hangover. Now, in ancient times, the Romans believed that eating deep-fried canaries would cure your ills. In the Old West, a stupid cure called jackrabbit tea made from rabbit dung was the ticket. Hey, nobody said cowboys were smart. Now, the prairie oyster is an old hangover remedy. A bit of brandy and egg, some Worcestershire, a little salt. Sounds pretty good, actually, but getting past that raw egg yolk might be a little tricky. Now, other countries have their own remedies. The Mongolians swear by pickled sheep eyeballs. No, thank you. Many Puerto Ricans feel that applying lemon to the pit of your drinking arm staves off morning sickness. I guess the two-fisted drink would have to put it under both pits. The Aussies swear by Vegemite on toast, which is a peanut butter consistency spread made from brogies. You ever have it? Once again, no thanks. The Koreans have a stew called Haijanguk. Translated, it means soup for the stomach. But for me, our neighbors to the south have the end-all to be-all hangover cure. Menudo. No, not the Ricky Martin Latino boy band. I'm talking about spicy tripe soup. All right, brutal morning after, and after a night of tequila and dance, and just, hey, it was a, such a party, and I should have had a lot more of these. Mm. I should have had a lot more of these in between the tequila and the beers and the margaritas, but it's too late for that now, so looking for the hangover cure. We're here in East Austin in a little carniceria on the east side, and Nice little Mexican store. They've got all kinds of, you know, uh, things where you can, you know, to make Mexican food, they've also got pre-prepared stuff. And what they do have here is the ultimate hangover cure for the people, for the people, for the people that have the spike, trying to pull the spike out of the head. They, they claim this is the best one. And what they have here is the menudo. So, so what we're looking at, it's a, it's a beautiful, like tomato soup. It's not gonna taste like tomato soup, it's not Campbell's, but it's got beef tripe in it, so that's stomach lining, and it's got hominy in there, which is a uh, corn that's been in a, uh, I think it's corn that's been soaked in lye or something. Bottom line, we're gonna put some of the accoutrement, a little bit of onion on there, a little cilantro, ooh, and some, ooh, hot pepper. A little squirt of lime there. Beautiful, look at that. Look at that. It has an incredible taste. Chilies, maybe some tomato, but mostly chilies. There's hominy in there. And uh, the beef tripe, of course, which is a staple in every American household, right? Right. My grandma, my dad's mom, Nana, I was German, but for her Mexican husband, Mexican-American husband, she used to make this all the time for him. Actually, she'd make Spanish-style tripe, this big honeycomb tripe, stomach lining, very odd-looking thing, and she cooked that for him. He loved it. I remember as a kid going, whoa, that ain't right. It's partly the consistency, that little bit, little bit wiggly, little bit <laughs> gelatinous. It's, it's, it's actually very delicious, and you, you got to admit, it smells great, right? Uh, you gotta admit that you wouldn't touch this with her tongue. <laughs> okay. Absolutely not. So I'm gonna work on this. Hopefully we get rid of this spike a little bit. See what happens. And don't forget, hydrate. Hydrate. Oh, hydrate, hydrate. Back to the menudo. Oh man. Okay, still got the hangover. I got one more idea. I got one more idea. Let's go. Sorry, I must wait. Yeah. 
Oh, there's no right. Oh, yeah. really good for you. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. I'm jealous of this one. <laughs> All right, so here's the idea. The menudo, it was great. Fine. Tripe. Mm, hominy. Nice little thing. Didn't take away the spike. So I'm thinking, hey, can't beat them. Got to join them. Time to do the old little bit of the hair of the dog that bit you. We're here at Oakville Divine on 6th Street. They make a beautiful Bloody Mary with local Tito's vodka. I think this is the way to go. Little hair of the dog to beat you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Hydrate. Hydrate. Oh, that's a good bloody. Oh, that's a good bloody. Woo! Get back in it. Oh, yeah. You can catch the show either at aahour.com or on Facebook. Look for AA Hour. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm Den Cruz, D-E-N-C-R-U-Z, all one word. And I love your feedback and suggestions. Email me at aahour at yahoo.com. Okay, hydration. It's a balancing act. Have a little bit of water in between each drink. You're going to feel a lot better than I did today. So hopefully I've lubricated the thought process for you a little bit. I'm Dennis Cruz, and thanks for joining me again on the Attitude Adjustment Hour. I wonder if they have menudo here. Give me a hair of the dog that bit me Cause I heard somewhere it takes a bite away Give me a hair of the dog that bit me They tell me It'll help me ease my pain Swear I'll never drink again Again That's right